Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Royal Family. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. I hope that all of you guys are doing well. So, um, let me clear off some energy. Also, you guys, I didn't even notice until the video was done that the entire last live stream that I did was blurry, okay? But what was crazy is it wasn't blurry on my end. <laughs> so, I don't know. Somebody or something don't want y'all to get that message, so... If I were you, I would listen to the message. Like, even if you can't see my face or whatever, really. But listen to the actual message, okay? Because I feel like the only time that happens if is when it's very, very important messages in there. And negative energy is definitely blocking. All right? All right, so go ahead. Holy Spirit, clear out any negative energy. And let's go ahead and get into it. All right, all right, let's start off. Let me send messages for the collective Holy Spirit. What is the strongest energy surrounding them at this time? Burning karma, burning off past karma, step towards soul freedom, advancing towards your true potential. So some of you guys are actually um, clearing out karmic cycles, karmic lessons, uh, with people from your past, whether it's friendships, partnerships, business partners, love relationships, and things of that nature, but you're burning off your past karma. You're 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 cutting off people who was nothing but a karmic lesson. Okay. Yeah, these connections with these people was like pretty much hindering you finding your true purpose, your true calling in life, struggling to find purpose in life. Mission feels impossible to complete, not living your full potential. So y'all have people that has been holding y'all back energetically that has been keeping you stuck on some type of karmic wheel, right? I just heard injustice. These people are intentionally trying to hold you back. Some of these people are not intentionally trying to hold you back. But these people are keeping you blind. They're trying to keep you from seeing your full potential, you know? The ego self, dismantling the ego is a crucial step. The biggest block to your true self must explore the nature of your ego. Some of you guys need to check your ego, or this could be someone external to you who needs to check their ego. Some of you guys could be a Leo or you're dealing with a Leo and spirit is wanting you to um, make sure that you are keeping your ego in check, right? And lessons soulless royalty wow and see okay so now it's making sense now it's making sense you guys come from a royal bloodline okay extraordinary regal presence step into your own personal power living your purpose as a leader and this is why you struggle you may have you may not want to admit it but oh well you kind of struggle with your ego a little bit because you know you look good. You have a very regal presence to you. That's because your soul is royal. But Spirit is saying that in order for you to um, attract high vibrational friends and lovers and just um, in order for you guys to stay in a posit on the positive side of karma, you need to make sure that you check your ego. Okay? So lessons. It says seeing the bigger picture, learning important lessons in life, overcoming difficult lessons okay so some of you guys learned a very valuable lesson earth angel energy here okay. live in your country live in your own spiritual reality you are fused with collective with the collective you are able to channel divine power so listen you guys have a really really strong connection to the higher realms okay and with this information you guys are supposed to help the collective grow and ascend especially with you guys coming from a raw bloodline like i'm picking up heavy envy energy here so you guys attract a lot of haters you don't even know why and the reason why is because of your presence it says extraordinary regal presence step into your own personal power living your purpose as a leader you know some of you guys may be Life Path 9. It says, wise, wise, giving, a humanitarian, humble, have vision and passion to inspire others, prone to rescuing your partners. So listen, 
Try not to be the one who always rescue your partners. You guys attract partners who are always in need of rescue. So be careful with that, okay? Because you are such a humanitarian. You guys are givers as well, you know? And you're gonna, all kind of people are gonna be attracted to your royal presence. Some of you guys may resonate with being um, Oshun energy, I'm hearing. But so many people are going to be attractive to you energetically because you come from a royal lineage, because you have raw blood that runs through your veins, you know? And especially like lovers. So be careful of uh, having partners that need, need you, need you. You see what I'm saying? Like need you to rescue them type energy. Collaboration. Collaborations lead to higher levels. Learn to appreciate others' viewpoints. You will have a successful collaboration. So there's someone coming into your life that you're going to be able to collaborate, collaborate with um, from a higher on a higher consciousness. Okay. This is going to be really good for you, especially with the type of mission that you have here. It's going to be very important for you guys to be able to collaborate with people who are on your level, who are on your vibration, who can keep up, who can hold an intellectual as well as a spiritual conversation with you so let's actually um tap into let's see i'm not going to say tap into the love portion of the reading but kind of yeah you know let's see spirit give me um the energy for the person that is external to my choices Two of Swords in reverse. This is someone who is no longer um, blind. This is someone who has made some type of choice, made some type of decision. This person is, is not blind to who you are. And this person also know that you are a queen or you are a king energy. Like they know, they see your the, the royal, royal energy on you. They know that you're royalty, whether they tell you this or not. They know that they can't handle you in any type of way. Yeah, look at this, six of wands. This person know that you are to be looked up to. You are to be praised, you know? And this person, I'm not going to lie to you. They came in trying to give you the bare minimum due to their ego. So this could be your person that was struggling with their ego. And because you are of raw descent, you kind of, you give that energy off to this person, you know? And I feel like this person wants to try to like prove some type of point to you. They wanted to prove some type of point to you guys, you know? But this person do see you. This person do see you as... Uh, Someone who is worthy of the best. Someone who is worthy of all of them. But I feel like I feel like because of their ego, they held back from you. You have the fool card in reverse. This talks about stagnation, not moving forward, not making any moves. So yeah, because of this person's ego, they decided not to invest. Even though they know who you are, they know that you're a queen, they know that you're a king, like they know, you know, that you are six of wands energy, that they see you being victorious, you know, and this person knows that they can be victorious with you, but their, their own foolish ego will not allow this person to come towards you, fool card in reverse. Give me, uh, clarify the uh, life path nine, Holy Spirit, the justice card. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra. Or you could be a Libra energy. But honestly, this person needs you way more than you need them. Okay? Like, they need you way more. Tim, clarify this justice energy. Holy Spirit. One more time. Clarify this justice energy. So this is receiving, this is an offer. For some of you guys, this is an apology. Make Clarify this for me one more time, Holy Spirit. What is this energy? Yeah, four wands. It's an apology. So it looked like this person is going to come towards you with a offer, okay? Um, the nature of this offer is supposed to bring you guys together because they want to celebrate with you. Like I said, this person know who you are. They see you winning. This was a part of their lesson, you know? A part of their lesson was for them to check their ego. Why do I feel like this person is kind of intimidated by your energy? Because you you are 
um, very royal. You do have this divine energy. You do carry your head high. You do have standards, you know. This person want to come towards you into some type of union for one's energy. Because this person is failing at life. It says failing the mission, Queen of Pentacles. They see you guys being in the Queen of Pentacles energy. So you are very stable. You don't need this person at all. You don't need this person. Yeah, they see that you're focused on your work. They're, you're focused on grounding. You're, fo you're focused on tangible things, things that you can see building. I'm also hearing a legacy. And this person is failing at their own personal mission, you know? They're failing at life. They're struggling. And now this person want to join forces with you. <sighs> See, listen, King of Wands in reverse, clarifying, burning the karma. Some of you guys, this is why you pulled back from this person. Yeah, because it was just too much chaos. It was too chaotic. You fought, you argued with this person or it was going to cause some type of drama for this person to come towards you, especially with them coming out as the King of Wands in reverse. This is like a player energy. And this is why you guys kind of let this person go. What is this collaboration energy spirit? Yeah, look at this. This person collaborated and invested in a queen of wands energy. The, and this person was actually their match. When your person was operating in this low vibrational energy, they collaborated with someone who actually was, who actually was their match. Yeah. And they overinvested in this person and they didn't get anything out of it. They didn't They didn't get nothing, you know? And honestly, this is why this person wants to let their guards down with you. Why they want to end the situation with this karmic energy, with this queen of wands in reverse. And why they want to come towards you. Now they see success in you. Look at this. The sun card. They see a new beginning with you. Now they see, you know, how bright you shine that you are the one. But I feel like... It's just, I don't know, it's bothering me that this person initially could not see this or they did see this to a swords in reverse, but they're, because of their ego, they didn't want to give you the recognition. It was kind of like, yeah, this person think they all that, but they are all that, but I'm not going to add, I'm not going to pump their head up more than it already is, but you are all that. So this person ultimately ended up breaking their own heart when they chose to take another route. They broke their own heart. This person lost the passion for life, you know, because I feel like this was destiny. This, you are a part of this person's destiny, 1313. 13. So they broke their own heart. When this person chose to not come towards you, the chariot in reverse, stay stagnant. You know, this person chose to make you wait while they focus on options. You know, this person broke their own heart. They did. Why do you give me a few more messages? Thank you. I'm so depressed. I can't seem to think clearly anymore. Yeah, they're 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 depressed. They can't get over you. You are royalty. They're never going to be able to replace you. You know, it's crazy how they uh, they abandon a divine feminine or divine masculine energy. Someone of royal bloodline, royal descent. You know. And they actually abandon you for a queen of wands in reverse energy. <laughs> energy. So, no, yeah, no wonder this person is depressed. Yeah, they thought that they were in love with this karmic energy. They thought they were in love with them. And this is why, what took them so long to let this karmic go. I'm starting, I'm staying with my karmic because I feel that's the right thing to do. And they feel like they owe this karmic energy something. I feel like this is why they stay so long. I tried to end my relationship with my karmic, but they refused to let me go. Mm. 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 Wait a minute. So, wait a minute, sir. Is it that you can't walk away from them because they won't let you? Or is it that you feel bad? For some of you guys, they feel like they owe this karmic something, so they're staying with them. Others of you guys, the karmic won't let them go. Thank you. It gets harder each day to be in this relationship. This person is not happy. It's like this is wishy-washy energy back and forth. They are not happy. And it's getting harder and harder for this person to, to wear, you know, put on this facade, you know. I don't, I feel like your person has outgrew this karmic energy. 
What is this person's current energy now, Holy Spirit? What, are, what is their energy now? What is their energy now, Holy Spirit? This person is still in coward's energy. Damn. This person is in coward's energy. They don't have the courage. That's why they feel like they got to sneak away from this person. They're lacking courage because the strength card, it came out in reverse. You know, and this person feel bad. They feel like they cannot approach you because you guys are the nine of pentacles. So you just really don't need nothing. You know, only thing, the only thing you're missing is love at this point in your life. But you, you're pretty much stable everywhere else. So this person don't know how to approach you guys, you know, but they definitely outgrew this karmic energy for sure. They no longer resonate with them, but this person is going back and forth with themselves on should I stay or should I go? Especially since they know that they made you guys feel this small. This this person made you feel like you wasn't good enough, but they did this on purpose because they saw the divine masculine, divine feminine energy in you and they it intimidated this person and they was envious of it as well. So, but this was a hard lesson. This was a lesson that they had to learn how to treat an earth angel. I'm done. I'm done. No wonder you guys burnt this karmic lesson because, listen, this person is failing in their own mission in life. And this person would have only held you back off of your journey, you know. And besides, you're royalty anyway. So, you really can have whoever you want. So, all right. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Also, if you guys have not subscribed to my talk channel, um, Cosmic Cowgirl TV, make sure you do so. Um, I It's time for me to do another call-in video where I let you guys call in and I talk to you guys. Um, so I'll probably be doing that tomorrow, tomorrow night. Normally, I do it on the weekends. So if I don't do it tomorrow night, I do it on the weekend. But um, I also do um, reaction videos to interesting, um, interesting videos and topics that I find online as well. OK. All right. Also, if you are a Leo or you have Leo in your chart, make sure that you subscribe to my Leo Tarot channel, Leo Hard Tarot. Peace.